So my name is Chris Paul, I'm the CEO of Hercules Silver and uh, Living in the News asked me you know, what it was like when, when we made the discovery. Uh, you know, what, what was that feeling like? And, you know, honestly, you really can't describe it. It, it really is surreal. Uh, because, I mean, these things are one in, one in a million, right? I, I, I think Barrick at the town hall said that, you know, discoveries like this is, is you know, like 99% of the time you fail. And that's correct. 99% of the time we fail. And, and, and we know this. You know your odds of success, you know, coming here and, you know, raising the money, raising the capital and, and taking the risk and, and going out and spending it. You know that the odds are you're going to fail. And, you know, not only do you fail 99% of the time, but even in that 1% of the time that you do hit it, quite often even that's not good enough. So, you know, really, you really feel like there is like a higher power out there. There's some reason that that this, you know, we made this discovery because yeah, you know, this wasn't even a copper project, right? That's what you gotta realize. This was there's there are no porphyries out in Idaho. This is this is a silver belt. Uh, so to make a, a huge copper discovery, I, it, it really is remarkable. And and uh, you know it takes a while. It really does take a while uh, for for that to to sink in. But but I do remember the day and I was actually driving down to the project. So uh, I, was, I was not here when the discovery hole was drilled. I was, I was not in Cambridge, I was actually back home. And I remember, so this was, this was the first time we decided to, to drill deeper than we normally do, right? Because the known stuff is in sort of zero to, I'd say 300 feet, or maybe, you know, 400 feet. And then at the 400 foot mark, the historical drilling, all the historical operators knew you hit a certain rock called andesite, and once you hit the andesite, the hole's over. That's that shutdown rock, it's barren. So of course when we came out here and we started drilling our first few holes, we saw that again. We we drilled through the silver mineralization, we'd hit the andesite, just like the old timer said, it's barren. You can see that there's nothing in it. But we took the risk. The metal detector said that there's something down there. We're gonna go. We're gonna go looking, and it's not cheap. You know, the deeper you drill, the more expensive it gets. Like it can be, you know, a, a deep drill hole can cost half a million dollars. So this is, you know, you're taking a big swing. And so <sighs> the drilling here also is really challenging. So the ground is 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 not easy ground to drill. I mean, there's other parts of the world where where, where drill holes just go like butter. Here it's not like that. Here it's, you know. You're fighting to get every foot, and so it took. I, I believe it took over a week, and and you know it's you know every day costs a lot of money with that drill rig running, and so I'm back home and, and we're drilling through this barren andesite. We're drilling, we're drilling, nothing, nothing, nothing's changing, and then all of a sudden I get a text one day from our geos here on site, and they're sending these photos of the core, and they're like something's changed, something has changed, and. And you look at these photos and it's like nothing you've seen before. It's, it's something different. So, so you know, the, it was around um, 600 or 650 feet, I want to say. And all of a sudden we hit a fault zone. And when you go through that fault zone, the rocks on the other side of that fault zone are completely different. And they're extremely altered. When I say altered, I mean you know that fluids, hot hydrothermal fluids have moved through this rock and it's full of veining and all sorts of beautiful colors. So you know that there's, there's a mineral system, but the first 100 feet, 150 feet of that, there was, not, there was no copper, there was no gold, there was no silver, there was no metals in that rock. And we know, because not only can you see it, but we've got a little gun, you know, this is today's technology, you can, you can zap the core and I'll tell you, and sure enough, nothing in it. But, we, but, but seeing this alteration in this veining told us that, keep going, let's keep this hole going. And so what we didn't realize was we were in what's called a leach cap. So a leach cap is where essentially groundwater percolates downwards with oxygen and it actually leaches out all the copper. And it, 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 it basically that copper goes into solution, it dissolves, goes down till it hits the water table 
and then it actually precipitates back out and you get more copper, right? So you've, you actually concentrate the copper into a layer called an enrichment blanket. We didn't know that until I think it was day 12, let's say, of, of this deep shot. And all of a sudden, and <laughs> you'll never forget it, I'm driving down and, and I'm about two or three hours into my trip to Cambridge and the phone just starts blowing up. And I was pulling up to the border because I live, I live in British Columbia and I'm pulling up to the border and I'm trying to talk to the border agent and my phone is going berserk and I'm so all caps, photo, 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 all caps. And I finally look down at the phone and you know, you, you see what's going on. And we didn't realize, right? Like we think we're thinking maybe there's some silver coming, right? Because maybe we found a new silver, but it wasn't silver. It was copper. It was high grade peacock colored copper running about 2%. And, and yeah, there's, there's really nothing like that in the world. It was, it was truly remarkable. And, 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 you know, the other really cool thing about that is, you know, obviously it's changed my life. It's changed my life for the better. It's changed my family's life for the better. Uh, you know, I, I've, I've got my first kid on the way in December. Um, but even more cool is, is, is all the other people's lives that you've changed as well. So, you know, being a public company, being a CEO of a public company, you've got all these shareholders who, you know, most of these people you don't know. They've gone into the market. In other words, they've gone online to their brokerage account and for whatever reason, they've picked your company. They said, look, this company looks really cool. I like what they're doing. I think they have a really good shot of making a discovery. I'm going to buy shares in them. And you slowly start to get to know these people. You maybe have never seen their face, but they've called your office. You've talked to them on the phone. You know, some of these people are retirees who, who, who are investing their retirement savings into these <laughs> long shot gambles. And, and you know, there's a lot on the line here for these guys. And so when we made the discovery and the stock went ballistic and you know, you, you, you start to catch up with some of these people and they're almost in tears with, you know, happiness. And, and you realize that, you know, they, they maybe invested $10,000 or something, of like their, their retirement savings, and you've just turned it into a quarter million dollars for these people. And it's like, they're just so thankful. They're so happy. I mean, they're just, it, it's, it's just such a, it's, it's such a special feeling knowing that you've made money, um, you know, you've changed someone's life and not just one person, but there's, you know, so many examples of people who called in and, and you realize you changed your life. And that's another thing that takes a while, you know, but it sinks in eventually. At first it's surreal, but it sinks in eventually. So it's a really cool business and it's a long shot business, but yeah, when you, when, you, when you make a discovery, it, it truly is life-changing and, and, and it's something very special. So I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed that story.